Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and I'm back with a little bit different of a video today. Normally I do set reviews and stuff, and I will at some point in the video do a review of something, but today I want to talk about a set that never really saw the light of day. It is a Kylo Ren transforming action set from The Force Awakens. Now, last year when The Force Awakens came out it was the return of Star Wars Micro Machines. Uh, so I've got a couple of them here on the table. We've got the one that's the First Order Stormtrooper that opens up to a play set that looks kind of like Jakku, but it's not necessarily Jakku. I, I don't know, I think it is. And then we've got another one that looks like, almost like Hoth, but it's R2-D2. And it opens up, and it looks, it's, you know, it's snowy. It, it could almost be Hoth. But I'm assuming it's more of a, uh, I don't know. I, I still think it's Hoth, to be honest. Like, it's, uh, it could be Starkiller Base, because Starkiller Base was actually in the movie and had snow on it, but it didn't say so on the package, and it also doesn't say so on the package for the Stormtrooper one that it's Jakku. Was it to avoid spoilers? Nobody knows. But up until recently, very recently, on Hasbro.com, if you were to search under the Micro Machines tab, you could find this product right here. Now what it is, is it is a Star Wars Episode Seven Kylo Ren playset. Look at it. It says it retails for $19.99, uh, and it's Kylo Ren's head, and it opens up and it becomes Starkiller Base. Now, I'm trying to see, like, on the actual product, I can't tell that it says Starkiller Base anywhere on it. And also, the pictures are pretty low res. But if you look at them, you can see that it comes with a Ray figure and it's Ray shooting a gun, and also a TIE Fighter that's damaged. Now, she never really shot any TIE Fighters in the movie. So maybe that's why they never actually sold the product. The weirdest part was, is if you actually got to this page, and again, the page is gone now. I looked today, and it is gone. They re removed it from the website. But if you would click that buy button right there, it would actually take you to a, it's like Mr. Potato Head saying, oops, page missing, you made a mistake. So you never actually could buy this set. But they did make it. I mean, there's pictures of it on the internet. It exists somewhere it looks pretty cool it's got a similar thing as the other two sets the r2d2 and the clone uh not clone but stormtrooper set where it's got a little bar thing that zooms around when you turn it you know and it makes your ship fly around they all had that so this one has something similar but this time it's for the tie fighter so i mean it looks cool it's a neat looking set but why hasbro why did you never really release that it just doesn't make any sense now i don't want to give you nothing in today's video so i figured I would actually do a review of something very similar. We have a Force Awakens Kylo Ren Micro Machines play case. Not quite the same thing, it's not the exact set, but it is as close as we are ever gonna get, unfortunately. Now, as I unbox this, I do wanna let you guys know, in the description down below, there is a link to the Amazon listing that I purchased this from. Um, now, if you buy anything through those Amazon links, they do help out the Dano channel. You pay the exact same price you normally would. You don't even have to buy the same product, but if you're gonna do any shopping on Amazon and you do it through one of my links, it helps support the channel and is much appreciated. Okay, now real quick, before we get into the unboxing, I do like to show you guys what the outside looks like before I open it. So here it is. It says Kylo Ren play case, something in French. It's got some cool artwork, a bunch of ships for both sides. And there it is. It says it holds up to 40. And look at that. There's a lot of little, like, compartments in there and places up top to hang your little figures. Now, I think those are, like, target areas for this little blaster gun. So that's kind of cool. It says it's a gold series item, ages four and up. And there's a pretty cool textured and detailed Kylo Ren. Now this thing is large. If you look at some of the older sets, this is not the Force Awakens one. This is an older one. That one to be exact for a future video. But you can kind of tell the scale there. They are a definitely a different size. Now let's take a look at the back of the box. And what do we got here? Star Wars Force Awakens. It says it's got a built-in handle, which is kind of cool. Again, holds up to 40 figures in vehicles. Uh, targeting platforms, yes, that is correct. Uh, it does come with a First Order Transport, which is a Gold Series, and then also a First Order Star Destroyer, which is a regular series. Um, let's see, dividers for storage or targeting. So there's these little U-shaped things that'll help make these and also those little platforms. Pretty cool. There's a list of what it came with. I already said those. Customizable storage divisions, so that's neat. Uh, firing missile. Now this is what makes it a play case and not a play set or not a you know it doesn't have any action features other than this little 360 degree swiveling projectile missile thing so that it's interesting that you can play with it 
But at the same time, it's kind of weird because it's not actually a playset like the one that they had designed to come out but never sold. Hasbro, you do some weird things. You do some really weird things that I don't quite get it. So for right now, though, let's get into this unboxing. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, can I do it? Can I open it? It's got like weird ridge thing. There we go. I got it. Now, the two little figures are still on the inside. Should I open them? Should I leave them? Do you guys want to see them up close? I suppose you do want to see them up close. Let's see here. They are lightly taped on. I think I'm going to have to rip the box open to get at them. Because they are in there. Maybe. Oh, no. Cool. I lost the Stormtrooper. Or Star Destroyer. It's gone. And there's my little gold figure. All right. Let's get that thing from off the floor. Wherever it went. I got it. I got it from off the floor. All right. Let's 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 just take some close-ups real quick so you guys can see what the figures look like. That is very gold. You know, that's like more gold than the C-3PO figure that comes in this large set over here. So, I mean, it looks cool. I already have the figure, but not gold, so... Yay, gold version. Uh, next up, I've got a Star Destroyer, and that is a very cool-looking Star Destroyer. Though, is it missing something off the top? Or is it... That's just how they were on Force Awakens. Yeah, I guess that's just how they were. Oh, look, you can see through it. That's kind of interesting. That's very interesting. A little curve at the front, but that's okay. And let's look at the bottom here. A lot of cool texture. Is that dirt? Is that dirt? Kind of, I don't know if it's a burn in the mold or what that is. But that's it. Those are the two figures that it came with. All right, so let's open this thing up. Let's see what this thing really has going on. I think I pushed this little button down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Let's put him off to the side. And let's put his brother off to the side. So we have some room here. Now, it does come with a bag with a bunch of those little dividers. Cool, cool. That's taped. And one missile. It comes with one missile. Uh, inside there are also instructions. And they tell you, in three different languages, how to play. Let's say, fire the missile at the ships. Okay. And it should have a little... Oh, it's inside here, the little clip that goes on the end. Um, it also tells you how to close the case. You have to put the gun away to close the case. On the other side, it tells you how to open it, which is weird because you have to open it in order to get these instructions. Um, it also tells you how to set up the dividers. Oh, oh yeah, there's more little long dividers here, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, how to set up the long dividers and then the individual little U's so that you can store all of your figures and everything. So, cool. Now, I've got my little bag of stuff here off to the side. Um, I'm going to get another bag full of other vehicles. It's actually hiding right back here. Is it? Maybe. Maybe. Is it? Success. I have a bag that I've just been waiting to get this thing situated for so I can actually put them together. All right. There's these little slats on the inside that this should just fit into. I guess. I don't know. It looks like it... Oh, it does fit. It does fit. Okay. I see it. I get it now. It's all making sense. Mostly sorta. And I want you guys to see a close-up of this, so let's get the uh, the close-up cam going. Alright, so a close-up of me putting these on here. Look at that. Check it out. It just kind of slides right in. And there's little grooves. Almost. Almost. There's one groove. Kind of, sort of, there it goes. And you can kind of feel when they're in there snug. Pretty good. And again, they do come right out. See, they pop right out, no problem. But then they also slide back into place. And there are specified places for them to go. Now that I'm done with that, I can actually get in here. Get all my little weird U pieces. And I can insert them. Like so. Let's see, now I've created a new compartment. Now, if that's not the compartment I want to make, and say I want to make a compartment up here, I can do that. I can go right up here. I can place this in there. I'm not sure I'm doing that right. I might be going backwards. It's hard to tell. Maybe I'm doing that sideways. I don't know. There's got to be a right way and a wrong way to do it. And I think maybe we'll just use this bottom one. I think that's it. They just kind of hang out there. There you go. You can set up as many of these as you like set up different platforms for your figures and stuff and then when you set it up right like that there we go we've got somewhere to put our ships we can set them up up here there's you guys say hello and we've got our gun this is our gun a little close up it does have a clip see that little clip 
that clip actually goes on right on the end here. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Let's see here. Come on, will it clip? So hard to do these things one-handed sometimes. There it goes, it clipped. Right into place. We can get our missile, shove it in there, and there is a little small black button right here on the side that is our firing mechanism. Let's see, will we hit our ship? Oh, almost, that was so close. So I think I need to aim just a little further down. Just a little bit. Will we hit the ship? I think I hit it, but I might have hit this more. Let's put it right on the edge. Let's see if that'll work. Let's see if maybe now we can hit the ship. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's do this. Oh, still a little low. Let's aim one more time. Let's, I think we got it. I think we got it for real this time. Yeah, we knocked it off. That was awesome. That was awesome. Now, this set is pretty cool. I like it. I like the way it works so far. It's kind of... It, I mean, all you guys get to see from that side is the Kylo Ren. But if we look at it this way, and see a bigger, open, wider shot of it. You can create these cool little compartments, and there's not really... I guess there is a right and a wrong way to do it, but it's not like the end of the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these in here together, and I will be right back in just a second, and we'll see what we can store in here. All right, guys, I've done it. I've filled up my case. I know I have way more ships and stuff that I can put in here, but for right now, just to keep it simple, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it actually has stuff in it. So I've got my weird quad jumper thing. Thanks to you guys, I finally know what this is. I had no clue what that was from Force Awakens. I had to rewatch the movie after you guys told me that it was a quad jumper, and then I'm like, oh, yeah. They do say it's a quad jumper, don't they? But I got my uh, Jabba the Hutt. I've got a uh, abominable Yeti man. What's he called? He's called the Wampa. Brain fart. Um, I've got Kylo Ren. I've got a First Order thing that wasn't in the movie but was in a deleted scene. And look, I've got a bunch of ships, figures, stands and stuff that I've just put in here. And it is pretty cool. There's even a Death Star. I even managed to put the Death Star in there. So kind of cool looking. I do like it. It's definitely better than just an old plastic bag. So that's really why I wanted this. It's a nice place where I could keep all of my stuff and not have to worry about it. Especially not having to worry about wings and stuff getting bent because sometimes these little ships do end up with very crooked wings and stuff. So it'll be nice to have them in their own case. And when I take them out of their case, I can actually set them up up here. This poor Wampa keeps falling. But let's see. Maybe I can shoot the Wampa. You think I can nail him? Let's see. Will I get him? That was a weak shot. I don't know what happened there. That was very, very... Oh, look! He fell anyways. It's kind of shaky, and I'm on a wobbly table, so that might be part of it. But let's see. Will I get him? It didn't shoot high enough, but I still kind of made him fall over. Let's try one more time at the Wampa. Can I hit the Wampa? Got him! And I took out Kylo Ren. There's Kylo Ren. Got him! There's the Wampa. There's a bunch of just random figures and stuff. Guys, I really like this set. I think this is one of the coolest, coolest pieces of Micro Machine stuff that I own. And out of all the stuff that came from Force Awakens, probably one of the best products. Like, the Force Awakens sets I was kind of underwhelmed with, but I like them for what they are. But this case is actually really cool. I do like the case. I will have to take the gun off. Uh, the little missiles on the side, so that's fine. But everything should, I believe, close up just fine. Maybe, maybe not. You know, you do have to remove these things in order to close them. So that is something to take issue with. Uh, stuff like the Star Destroyer will fit only in smaller compartments. So let's take a look here. The Star Destroyer, if you notice, it'll only fit in a double size. It will not fit in the single ones. So some of these things you may have to kind of brush your figures over to fit into one if you want to use all these little compartment makers. See? But you can't close it if they're still on here. So just, just something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm going to leave that like that. Let's see if I can just toss my, my stuff in there and give this a close. Let's put that on the side. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now I've got a cool little case for it. They definitely do rattle around in there a little bit. But I like it. Overall, it's it's a pretty sweet little set. Again, beats that plastic bag. I'll be, uh, I actually might have to pick up one or two more of these because I've got a lot, a lot of figures and vehicles to be opening up soon. 
Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and playing toys and checking out today's product review. Let me know, what do you think about that old Kylo Ren set? Do you think this is an okay substitute versus the old one that we never got to ever purchase or play with? Bummer, right? Uh, leave a comment if you know what's been playing in the background. Share this with a fellow Star Wars fan. If you haven't already, do me a favor, subscribe. We'd love to have you come back, hang out with this place with some more uh, Star Wars Micro Machines. We're going to do some Rogue One figure unboxing soon. We play games like the uh, Jedi Holocron 20 Questions games. We do family vlogs, Disney artwork, all kinds of cool stuff here on the Dano channel. And we'd love to have you be a part of it. So, again, hit that subscribe button. Give a thumbs up if you like what you saw. And until next time, may the Force have with you? Goodbye forever.